Hey YouTube, long time no see. This is Jay McBride and today is the eve of my surge anniversary, April 30th, 2014. And tomorrow will be May 1st, 2014, which will make my two year anniversary. And I'm here to update you guys. Um, what I have been doing is living life uh, for those of you who are new to my channel. I had surgery on May 1st, 2012, and uh, of course, uh, my highest weight was 283 pounds, day of surgery. I think I lost close to 33 and a half pounds, uh, weighing in at 249.5, and currently today, I weigh 185 pounds, which is within my range of what I want it to be. I, if I... I prefer to be at 175, but 185 I still love. Um, my lowest weight was 169 pounds, and that was right after I had my baby. Uh, and I'll talk about that. Uh, I got pregnant soon after I had my uh, surgery. I think I had surgery in May, and I got pregnant in September. And, of course, I was on bed rest for majority of my... Uh, pregnancy but it was not related to surgery it was other issues that I was having um, had a perfectly healthy little girl who is a busybody today <laughs> and we're preparing for her birthday party soon on May 16th um, but back to the issue at hand uh, you know I was breastfeeding my child so of course that's like an extra workout within itself. Um, I got down to 169 pounds, and of course, I stopped breastfeeding around eight months, and 10 pounds came back quick. And of course, on top of that, having her and working, it is very hard to fit exercising within my schedule. Now, I do try to exercise I still exercise uh, I try to do it by any means necessary what I do is right now you see me sitting in my car I just got off from work and my job is maybe like a half a mile down the road so I choose to park well I have to park in the Kroger parking lot to walk to my job they do send shuttle buses to pick us up and take us in but I just choose to walk if it's not raining or anything but I try to exercise any way possible by walking to and from work um, I do try to still attend my step aerobics class that you guys saw me earlier in my previous videos. Still try to do step aerobics classes on Mondays. On um, Thursdays, I try to walk my neighborhood if possible. And um, But I really like where I am. I mean, like uh, being up to 185 kind of freaks me out because it's still close to 200. I don't ever want to go back over 200 again. However, I'm still able to wear... My clothes, my size 12s. Now, I can wear some size 10s and 12s. Um, 14s are still too baggy on me. Um, and to let to let you know where I come from, I'm reading from a piece of paper. Um, I used to wear a size 22, 24 in pants. Uh, shirts were 3X, 4Xs. I'm currently wearing like a medium or a large. It depends on how I want my shirts to fit. Um... I went from a shoe size 10 to a size 9. It depends on what kind of shoe it is. I can get into some 8 and a half. Uh, since my surgery, I have not had any food rejections. I don't think I had any food, rejected any food from the onset. I could eat pretty much anything that I want to. However, I think that I am more conscious of what I eat. Now, I do. And... I do have my weaknesses. I think um, I told you guys earlier that my weakness is Mountain Dew. Like a lot of people like to drink their coffee. My caffeine fix is Mountain Dew. And it's terrible because everybody knows the sugar content in that. So I do try to limit how much I drink. However, I think that it is a terrible habit that I have started. Um, so if I had to say what was my huge, my biggest problem, it would be the Mountain Dews. I think like... I still eat whatever I want, but I just keep in mind I don't go overboard. The restriction, I think two years out, I still have restriction, but I still notice that I can eat more. So what I do on purpose is I don't overload my plate like I used to, uh, you know, before I had surgery. Just trying to be more mindful of what I eat. Um, what else can I tell you guys? Um, 
you know, as a side note, I know that most women uh, suffer from PCOS, and that was uh, one of my issues. Uh, after I had the surgery, all my symptoms of PCOS disappeared, except for the hirsutism. Um, I was told uh, by my doctor that I would never conceive. And, of course, that proved to be incorrect because, of course, I have a little girl now. So I believe that the surgery did contribute to my chances of being able to conceive. Now, do I, do, do I want any more? No, I am perfectly fine with my little girl. She is a bundle of joy. She is, it's just amazing to watch her soak up so much information now. It's, it's just amazing, you know, just to interact with her. So, therefore, I don't uh, get on YouTube that much because, you know, I'm just enjoying every second of her as well as working. Um, and, of course, I'm choosing to videotape in my car before I go pick her up because I'm, I'm busy. She is on the go nonstop. Uh, so tomorrow is my anniversary. I'm trying to think what am I missing. I am going to attempt to get out of my car, put my iPad on my trunk, and do a twirl for you guys so that you can see what I look like now. And of course, you may see people looking at me crazy. So I'm going to attempt that now. And hopefully this will not fall. I am going to step back. Uh, I don't have nothing to prop this up on, so let me see if I can grab something to set it up. Maybe this will help. I'm going to step back so you can get a full view. And I hope you guys can see me. This is me, and I have a clip. This is me. And this is a truck coming towards me at the moment. Um, and hopefully you'll be able to see my body shot once I upload this. I know that the program that I use to upload normally cuts off my body. What else can I tell you guys? PCOS has been fully resolved. Those of you who uh, have PCOS, um, of course, I was one of those people that did not have a regular period. But since surgery, I think two days before my surgery, I had a regular period since then, you know, up until I got pregnant. And as soon as I had the baby, it came back with vengeance. That is the only thing that I do not miss. If it goes away, I <laughs> I wouldn't miss it. But I'm thankful that she's here. Um, so other than that, guys, I mean, I'm living life loving it. I still do not regret a thing about this surgery. Um, I do admit that uh, I need to get back more to the basics. I'm more conscious of what I eat, however there is still more room for improvement i do not care to get back to 169 if you ask me i thought i looked too skinny and i kind of to me i felt like i looked frail so anywhere between this 175 185 this is what i want to maintain and of course my husband had voiced his concern and it really doesn't matter i mean of course he lets me know that that he loves what he sees but he thought that 169 was small as well so i am going to try my hardest for me to maintain where i'm at but i want to get more closer to uh 175 and i don't really keep up with too many people i do have a facebook page um that's related to weight loss but i'd be so busy that i don't be able to log in as much but there are a couple people that i do keep in touch with on instagram and facebook i think stacy hall um we keep in touch she's actually on my personal facebook page but i don't discuss weight loss i mean it's just regular life so she also you know she's on facebook and you know if i'm on facebook i'm sharing pictures of my little girl so stacy basically knows me as well as 
you are going blank now and I can't remember your name um oh, I wish I could remember your name and you are on my Instagram um, mm, 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 mm. and I'm going to look it up because I feel bad that I can't remember your name and you have been a huge uh uh, you you have kept me motivated. Um, not sassy. Oh, I can't believe I can't remember your name. But anyway, I I have been logging in and watching a couple of videos. You know, um, northern southern northern southern. I you know from day one, I I can't stop watching your videos. You are the bomb. You are a huge motivator. Uh, I see that you are continuing to motivate the masses. Um, George, I don't know your YouTube name, uh, but you are a you are a couple of months out and you rock. You look good. Um, I cannot, and I'm still trying to find her name followers. Um. I guess that's it, y'all. I can Nikita, Nikita, you're on my uh, Instagram as well, Miss Keon. What well, Nikiyonse is what you call yourself? And um, changing before your eyes. How could I not remember you? You rock. You all, all y'all rock. But changing before your eyes. I still haven't been able to watch any videos since you've had your reconstructive surgery but i know that you on it doggone it i mean i remember uh looking at your instagram and the fact you know watching you and your husband do uh stone mountain that is one of my goals uh to climb uh stone mountain if i ever get to atlanta and of course i'm only two hours away but that that is still on my to-do list you know, I've noticed that I am more active. Honestly, since this surgery, I have never been so much more active than what I used to be. And I noticed that I, ch I choose to do, you know, like walk instead of taking the elevator if it's not too high. But, um, other than that, Jody Joe 10, you know, we always stay in touch. You're on my Facebook too, but, you know, you guys feel free to add me if you want. I'll add that information uh, below and if you have any questions please don't hesitate to ask and I hope to see some of the people that I uh, that we all had the surgery uh, I cannot remember uh, Nikki I would love to see an update on you and uh, Nicole who has the son Chancellor I think that's his name I would love to hear updates from you guys I hope everyone is doing well Talk to you guys later. Bye.